<laughs> but nah, man. I'm an old school. I just, I just be bopping. But, uh, man, I got a lot of topics to talk about. I'm going to talk about Boosie's daughter, Abby. I want to talk about Lamar Jackson. He's the modern day Jackie Robinson. I want to gloss back over that. And uh, I want to talk about y'all toxic YouTube so content creators that's really narcissistic. It's really narcissistic because I keep putting the same videos out and y'all don't even know what a narcissist is. <laughs> We about to kill it, man. Y'all get to the point. We get, we get the point. We know what's, we know what a narcissist is. Most people do, because everybody got their own perspective of what a narcissist is. But only the true ones know what a narcissist is, because we can see them, and they, and they most definitely ain't our own people. See, this is the thing about a narcissist. That y'all don't realize. A narcissist. Man, they the most dangerous group of people on this planet. A narcissist will sit back from behind his desk, find a way to funnel you to a certain area, whether if it's to pay your bill, whether if it's to just handle some type of business that you have to handle, because they know you're going to come this way one way or another. But when they funnel you through this, through, through this, through this systemic matrix, it's, it's, it's system and when you get there, best believe they got a bag of tricks waiting on you. Best believe they got a bag of tricks waiting on you. So, with, with the way that society is, is rigged up with black watch societies, block watch, and zoning, and, and uh, redlining, and, 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 and real estate, black people don't really... We just now being uh, introduced to all of these systemic, ignorant programs. So with the YouTubers, the content creators, calling everybody narcissists, calling everybody narcissists is basically blurring the line. Hold on one second. Y'all basically burn, blur the lines. Because real Norses is sitting back like, ha ha, we got all these motherfuckers running around with their head cut off and they calling everybody Norses. So basically, we can just sit back and run through society, walk through society and nobody, nobody knows who we are. We are, we are unidentifiable. A narcissist is not your cousin. A narcissist is not your brother. A narcissist is not your sister. A narcissist is a motherfucker sitting at the top of the uh, highest building downtown, and they work. They're, they're trying to figure out how to move their means around and strategically play chess with your motherfucking ass. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you got McDonald managers that's narcissists. But this is the thing. It's very unlikely that they're that they're your own people. A narcissist is, is coming from a, a position of power. For instance, for instance, for instance. Let's go and get this John Harbaugh stuff out of the way. John Harbaugh. Once again, they people don't realize how much adversity and scrutiny Lamar Jackson faced in the four or five seasons he was in Baltimore. The man still playing off his rookie contract, and he carried the Baltimore Ravens to 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 historic heights. A 46 and 16 record when he starts. And they don't want to pay the man his money. He has to beg for his money. He has to keep proving that he's worth every penny that he wants. And this is the thing. This is the thing. This is the thing. This is like this is what y'all missing. A court a, a, a linebacker that hasn't been in Baltimore longer than 10 games. 10 games. They gave him 110 million. All Lamar Jackson was asking for was 220. 220. 250 at the most. And he sells seats. So what's going on is Harbaugh is a narcissist. He strategically put Lamar in a system that will hold him back because Lamar came shooting at the gates his rookie year. Pune saving saving his job for real, which Harbaugh was probably going to keep his job, find some type of uh, – they was going to um, play some type of scenario out where Harbaugh was going to keep his job because they love Harbaugh. 80% of the fans in Baltimore – even with the way they're doing Lamar, is still advocating for Harbaugh to keep his job because they the narcissists. They racist. They racist. They know. They know that that it's all about the establishment, and the establishment is what take care of take care of their people. Why they walking around with all the sunglasses and shit like that and won't look you dead in your face because they sitting there like, we know Lamar Jackson's the greatest quarterback potentially ever that there could be, but we're not going to let him get that far. And we know what Harbaugh's doing because as far as us being white people, we take an oath with each other. We don't owe y'all. Y'all not in this oath that we got because this oath is for me and my people. So black people are so low vibrational, it makes no sense, man. They sitting back, real narcissists sitting back and looking at black people all on YouTube, making these damn YouTube videos and putting their business all out there for the world to see. We don't even know what a narcissist is. We don't even know. They don't, y'all don't know nothing about relationships. It's all too much jealousy and envy. Y'all sitting back, y'all looking at everybody's relationship and act like every relationship has the same dynamics. It's bullshit. Bullshit. It's just, um, there's there's nothing, everything in this in the world has its own fingerprint, relationships, teams. Even the, there's not one vehicle that drives the same. There's not one bird that flies the same. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's not one bee, an ant that takes the same pattern. We are followers. We are very narcissistic. We sit back and watch somebody on the outside looking in. And what we do is, here comes the jealousy and envy. Most of the time it's envy, though. Mm, they making money. Let me make a video basically saying the same thing, but I'm going to remix it. But we, y'all, ain't, y'all don't even do the research. Y'all don't even do the research. But um, I don't know, man. This, this, this shit's so crazy, man. Um, all I'm going to say is... Uh, uh, 
gonna say. All I'm gonna say is people that's in your family that's narcissistic, they have no idea what their motive is. They don't even know their own motive. Like, for instance, how are you going to be a narcissist, which the main word is narc? How are you going to put in for a job? I'm, 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 nah, I'm, I'm, I'm even, I'm, I'm even explaining it better than that. How are you going to put a job in for the narc police force? And you ain't even put the application in and go through training to get the, uh, um, get the program downloaded in your brain. Cause it ain't nothing but a download. So you know who to target, you know what, what nationalities go out there and target, pull over what neighborhoods to drive through, who to watch. Because you program like that from your superiors. So even the black people, now, now, when you have black people that sell out, that's on the police force, they're narcissists because they know what the fuck they're doing, but they turn the cheek to it. Some of them might just be dumbfounded to the fact that it's discrimination and it's um, profiling, but a lot of them know what's going on. It makes them narcissists. They're not narcissistic. They don't have the characteristics. They going out and they they pushing. They 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 going out with narcissist action. A narcissist is an action. Narcissistic is you just having characteristics. You don't even know what the fuck you doing. You like you blind as a bat, just moving around. And a bat is most definitely narcissist because it's, it's it, 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 it it comes out at night, and he could be sitting there watching you, and you'll never know he's watching. So he's sort of narcissist, narcissistic and has intentions to suck your blood. Man, this is a narcissistic society. This is a narcissistic world. But if you're a police officer and you ain't got the program and you're a narc, an agent, and you don't got the program, you just you just have characteristics and you want to be a part of the force. Like, like you got want to be firefighters and you got want to be security guards. You got want to be gay motherfuckers. You got want to be basketball players. You know what I'm saying? That don't make them narcissists. See, we come up in a country where we was oppressed by a slave master, and we always had ambitions to be like master. So what we do is, who oh, I'm going to tell them, uh, I'm a house nigga, and I'm going to tell them such and such because he's trying to escape. And maybe I can get close to Masa and I can get, get some perks and get some extra benefits. But you will never sit in the position of Master because he's a true narcissist. He'll kill you. He'll kill you. The house nigga is just a manless slave. He's very narcissistic. So you got, um, what is it, Blue Abbey Boosie's daughter. I'm going to get to the next subject. I got, I got some things to do this morning. Uh, Blue Abby. She's coming out the closet, man. She's gay now. She's uh, she's gay. A beautiful young lady, man. Another one bites the dust. And uh, she's very narcissistic because instead of her using her godly gift as far as her creative gene, her God gift talent that God gave her to be creative. She sat back jealousy and envy and watched her daddy to the T. And instead of saying, I want to be better than my daddy, I'll be different from my daddy. She wanted to be just like him, talk like him, rap like him. He probably writing the lyrics, but uh, you know, she might be talented enough to write on. I don't know. But she wants to be just like her daddy instead of being a better human being than Boosie. You know, of course, I got a son. I want him to be a better human being than me. You know, but Boosie, man, I got my own issues with my own family. Shit. I'm trying to 
I'm trying to man, 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 children are the hardest individuals to talk to, man. But, um, what can I say, man? Blue Abby, man. She's hanging with Dwayne Wade's daughter. And, uh, well, son slash daughter. And what that's going to do is they branding there. They go branding. So the narcissist, the narcissistic spirit that's in Blue Abby has her trying to be like her daddy, but her individuality wants her to be, to go off her feelings. You know, she might have been molested or something like that when Boosie was gone. And, you know, no telling. She might have got with a little female and it felt a little good or whatever. Whatever whatever reason that be that may be. Boosie's not gay, so why would she want to be gay? Because she want to emulate, imitate what she envy, who she wants to be like. That's very narcissistic, but she don't, she's mindless. She don't know. She just, she just, she just cloning. She just copying actions. That's not spiritual. That's demonic. Be your, he, he, God made us to be special, to set us apart from the rest. He didn't make us to be just like the next person, even though that's her family tree, but that's her father. So evidently she didn't have a mother in her life. Very narcissistic. She's mad. She don't know. She don't know what she do. And um, sometimes it's the parents' fault. It's the environment's fault. It's uh, it's dang. It's it's just it's just a sad game, man. Just just being played at her amongst black people, man. We are we are fools, man. We 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 follow trends and. We get this spirit in us, man, and uh, it destroys us. White people, but not white people, but the other race, they sit back, they take notes, and they realize the witchcraft that they putting out through the television is working.